Hello everyone, welcome back to the tutorial part 2 of the IntelliJ IDEA Griddle project. So guys, you can see this is the same setup, the same project which we have created in the tutorial part 1. Now we are going to continue from this place. If you have not seen the tutorial part 1, so please watch the tutorial first and then you can continue with this. So go to the Java folder, do the right click and create new class. So we have a simple Java program ready here in the notepad. I will use the code and I will paste that code here. So now you can see the code editor will suggest to you few minor mistakes that uh, the syntax mistake or the auto suggestions, few errors. It will report and it will suggest you to correct that. So you can utilize the auto suggestion features of the IntelliJ IDEA this way. Our simple Java program, what we are doing here, we have simple method and that will print some uh, information on the basis of uh, the input, what the input we are providing and uh, we are dividing through the numbers and we are printing the corresponding string. Now we are going to create the test class of that uh, Java class. So go to that uh, test folder and uh, select the Java, do the right click new java class and the class is also ready i have written this class here and i have simply used the name of the class simple java program test okay now what i will do so i have a complete code here in the notepad so i will copy from that place and i will paste that code here and uh, you can see the structure of the test case we have few buttons at line number 8, line number 16, line number 23, line number 30. So we can execute independent test case as well. So we are using JUnit test cases here. Now I will do a few correction because I found some error because this will uh, never execute because we are getting the suggestion. So I am going to change it. Uh, so the third method is the third case will be uh, dividing by 13 so we will print something if we divide by 13 to the given number so i have done a simple uh, test case change here okay now save the test case so we have one java program and we have written some test cases for that now we will see how to run the java program first then we will see how to execute our test cases the process is very simple we have the option we can execute all the test cases at one go and uh, we can execute the one case okay select the program you can do the right click and you can select the option run and the console window will appear in front of you and you can see the execution starting griddle daemon message and on the left hand side you can see the progress and finally you will see the result of your java program so we have some output from our java program so this is the way we have done the execution of our java program successfully now we will see how to execute the test cases simply uh, we have to go here and select the program and uh, if you go with this button this will select only the main program this time because the main program is set to the default and uh, we will use the option like uh, like the file and do the right click and you can execute your test cases so what we will do we will do the right click on the file also we have the button to run the test cases you can simply run the test case with the shortcut uh, keyboard combination Control shift f10 or you can go this way as well do the right click and select the run test cases you can see the test results on your screen uh, in the console so you will get such kind of a message test passed 4 of 4 means all the cases are successfully executed and all cases are passed now we will see if we have some error if we have some test case uh, which is going to be failed then how do it look like so we will see and i will do small change here 
so that my fourth uh, case will fail so i will do a minor change here in place of 13 i am putting 19 the intention only is that like uh, uh, how it's uh, going on on uh, the intellij idea so when you run this uh, test case again you can see message here test failed one passed three that means you will get the information uh, after execution uh, such kind of information that the actual is 19 and we are expected subscribe to learn more so this way you will get uh, the error messages on the console and the information of the failed test case and the guys this is all about the execution of the java class java program and their test cases in the intellij area and that's all for uh, this tutorial and uh, in the tutorial part 3 we will see how to create how to export the executable jar file of our java project with the help of gradle also we will see how to run it and guys i hope to see you there in the tutorial part three if you found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe to support us and for now thanks for watching cool it help